Hello and test hello everyone welcome to class 11 biology in this video first we will discuss about lipids and then we will discuss about primary and secondary metabolites right in our previous videos we have discussed about three different types of biological molecules or biomolecules the khare khare rela hui hai na carbohydrates proteins and nucleic acids ka jaan sare ta khare tha de re ganzo lipids la de tha de right so lipids they are technically not macromolecules ta ganzo lokte na lathi do lipids are not technically macromolecules they just remain in the acid insoluble pool during chemical analysis of living tissues ta so shimba na lo lakhi si kiran zo online na se hui hai na lipids na se hui hai na and wikipedia do na se hui hai na lipids are classified as biological macromolecules so this is a little bit confusing over here right but in our textbook it says that lipids are not technically macromolecules so we will stick with that okay so lipids they are not macromolecules so what are lipids actually lipids na khare so the khub khub dishe we mena shakzi da num rig di gela so khala wore lipids la wore now how do we explain lipids right so lipids they are generally water insoluble lipids as biomolecules they are generally water insoluble chuna lo shurgo amare wa non polar solvent na shurgo re water dikhare polar solvent re ko din na shurgo amare okay so water na lo la lipids shurgo bare so thang jo khejo thang bo dirda and lipids they could be simple fatty acids lipids ka ji example thang shu thang bo dikhare lipids can be simply fatty acids a fatty acid la na khare la we mena fatty acid has a carboxyl group cooh group the de do a fatty acid has a carboxyl group attached to an r group r group la na khari be variable group in ba so let's look at variable group r group r group khari in sigre it can be a methyl ch3 or ethyl c2h5 or higher number of ch2 groups ra in all the carbon khaju ne khaju bad yo cho gor la na carbon chig ne churgu bad yo cho gor r group na lo la so ta ma jo del example jite do this is a fatty acid palmitic acid is the name of a fatty acid palmitic acid now all carbon khajo do thangash kya da can you count how many carbons are there there are total 16 carbon atoms including the carbon atom of the carboxyl group carboxyl group ka ji ki carbon atom di chi ni carbon total khajo yore chudu yore so fatty acids can be pretty long chain carbon chain no go switch form che se da ya so but they are not polymers polymer marta okay they are they are no they are not made up of monomers okay they are not polymers they are just made up of chain of uh, carbon atoms so carbon atom khajo padu yo cho do carbon atom chigne churgu padu yo chor we will look at the structure of fatty acid later on so this is palmitic acid palmitic acid le carbon atom ma yo yo shimba khari yo lawi ma na arachidonic acid arachidonic acid na lo there are total of 20 carbon atoms including the carbon atom of carboxyl group yo cho so so let's look at Uh, structure of fatty acids. fatty acid structure structure saturated fatty acids are those fatty acids in which there are no carbon carbon double bonds present in it fatty acid na lola carbon ni ki parala double bond yo yo che me wein bana an ko khar cha do re saturated fatty acid cha do ta ki si fatty acid chik na lola carbon carbon double bond chik ta chik le manga yo 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 wein bana ra de la chik madu te me do inde yo wein bana ko khar cha do re unsaturated fatty acid cha do and unsaturated fatty acid the structurally khari or this tokyo roger saturated fatty acid khabdu the do unsaturated fatty acid this tokyo the tokyo the khajni or lavena because of the presence of double bond over here you chung so so saturated fatty acid unsaturated fatty acid this is pretty important the difference between saturated and unsaturated now if you know the meaning of word saturated saturated lana khalo or khawa roj lagwa ro full capacity le yo roj tan ye brain saturate chaso da kuch dikh sulave tham shada la rus li do saturate right so saturate chao la na ga de la khar de la khar la wor la wimba na all the carbons they are saturated with hydrogen hydrogen atom ki tum shar hydrogen atom de the carbon de la hydrogen hydrogen atom ka jo sum ki ko khor shado so all carbons they are attached with uh, 
they are saturated with hydrogen atoms. But in this one, because of this particular double bond, the para dene hydrogen ni layer theta tha. Hydrogen ni mindoa. Ijin kola khala re unsaturated. So saturated with hydrogen atoms. All carbons are saturated with hydrogen atoms. Here in uh, here in unsaturated fatty acids, all the carbons are not saturated with hydrogen atoms. Thus thamba nyane dir. And simply khala thamba nyane dir. Na zgaon te do. Double bond mejo. Dele double bond chikta chikle manga yoi dosh do. Ni ni para ki khwa dire. Now another simple lipid is glycerol. That is lipid shimbaji carrier. Simple lipid example shimbaji carrier la wana glycerol. Tanji di carrier in fatty acid in ba. That simple lipid ki example shimbaji carrier la wana na glycerol. So glycerol is nothing but tri trihydroxy propane. Trihydroxy la wana del hydroxy sum doa. So it's a propane. It has got three carbon atoms over here. Right. So trihydroxy propane is nothing but glycerol. So glycerol di carrier alcohol la it's it's a, it's simply an alcohol right but it is a, uh, it's a simple lipid a simple lipid chile no say which was now the dingy ni kharcha simple lipid cha so that simple lipid ni dia domni wa glycerol da fatty acid ya domni khari form chigre la mena glyceride la form chigre glycerol when it, it when it uh, forms bond with fatty acids they form something called glycerides the glycerol the fatty acid ni parala bond khandis form chigrela we mana the oh group of the glycerol will react with cooh group of the fatty acid to form ester bond ester bond form chigre ester martha ester bond okay so tel tido many lipids they have both glycerol and fatty acids combined here the fatty acids are found esterified lada esterification is the formation of ester bond so ester bond khadi form chigre Hydroxy the group theta, hydroxy group of glycerol reacts with carboxyl group of uh, fatty acid to form ester bond. Therefore, it is written esterified. Esterified with the glycerol. That the ester bond form chesa So three fatty acids can attach over here. So depending upon the number of fatty acids attached to the glycerol, there are three different types of glycerides. Monoglycerides, kesi fatty acid chik char na glycer Glycerol la fatty acid chik jar deyobi mena ko kharcha dure monoglyceride cha dure. Isi fatty acid ni jar deyobi mena na ko kharcha dure diglyceride cha dure. Sum jar na ani triglycerides la ni. Seo chong soa. Now these glycerides mono di tri la ish toa. Konzu na lo yang keju manda manda yur. Konzu kharre kashe fats re kashe oils re. Fats la na. Na konzu shilzi thakpur rikdi la dure wa solid dike la. Oils la na ni kharre shirsu yengyo de la go rwa liquid yengyo de. So fats and oils based upon their melting points. So based upon the melting points, these glycerides can be fats or oils. Oils they have got lower melting points. For example, gingerly oil lash, gingerly oil lana, peche Hindi mingi sare, numji ki mingi sha. And they have got lower melting points and therefore they remain oil in winter as well. Namshi thangu chadu zambagye ko khar jor numran de wor. You chung swa. So, uh, the classification glycerides can be either fats or oils depending upon the melting point. If uh, room temperature is solid, it will be fats. Oils are not They remain as liquid. Okay. So, depending upon melting point, the glycerides can be fats or oils. Let's show you. The diagram is the diagram. The diagram is triglyceride structure tear. So here in this particular diagram, you can see the structure of a triglyceride. So the blue ones over here, it represents the glycerol group. Glycerol group the tiroa. Ani glycerol ki OH hydroxy group yo. Tita ani fatty acid ki carboxyl group ni the react chini. Water molecule chik pathe ani khari bond khari form chigor ester bond form chigor. Tila ester bond la ta dela. So, therefore, fatty acids are said to be esterified to the glycerol. Right. So, there uh, are fatty acid khazu jarsha. There are three fatty acids attached to glycerol. So, this is a triglyceride. Dila khare triglyceride layer. Se uchon swa. So, this is a structure of triglyceride. Now, apart from mono di triglycerides, we also have got lipids which have got phosphorus or of phosphorylated organic compounds in them they are called as phospholipids these phospholipids are pretty important lipids 
फॉस्फोरस यूज़ की ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड यूज़ होने दीम्बाई ना दिलांग आजू खर लग रहे फॉस्फोलिपिड्स लग रहे तो फॉर एग्जांपल लेसिथिन लाइस तो लेसिथिन इस द नेम ऑफ़ अ फॉस्फोलिपिड बिकॉज़ इट कंटेन्स अ फॉस्फोरस एटम ओवर हियर लिपिड नालो ला फॉस्फोरस एटम यूज़ होच तो दिलांग आजू खा लो वाले फॉस्फोलिपि� the main structure form change is the main phospholipids. When we study about cell biology, we will study about cell membrane. Cell membrane is the same. Cell membrane now, when we study about the structure of the cell membrane, we will learn that cell membrane is made up of phospholipids. A phospholipid bilayer layer. That is why we have to say that phospholipid is ended. And this is diagrammatically represented. तो आने यहाँ को दिस वक्ता मंडा रोज़ थोंगर गो यो यो रोज़ चाहिए शुगुनी यो यो रोज़ थोंगर आ बट इट इस नथिंग बट फॉस्फोलिपिड्स ओके तो ये जल्द रिमूव जेते होंगे चला आ तो दी लिपिड की यहाँ फंक्शन चिकित्सा स्वा लिपिड्स दे आर स्ट्रक्चरल कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ सेल मेम्ब्रेन आ इवन सम टिश्य आंजू तो न्यूरल टिश्यूज़ लावना आंजू खाला वारे आंजू के लेबाद ना आंजू के तत्सा दिए लावार वा सो दे आ दे कंटेन अनदर कॉम्प्लेक्स टाइप ऑफ लिपिड्स लाइक कोलेस्ट्रॉल कोलेस्ट्रॉल दाता दिल्ले कॉम्प्लेक्स था अंडियर सो कोलेस्ट्रॉल चिकता आंजू लेबाद दिए ना लो मांस uh, storing food material in our body, storing energy. So, uh, the energy store is there. fats So, fats they can be used for storing energy, uh, or they can be used for uh, the cell membrane structure form. Phospholipids are there. Any neural tissues are there. The cholesterol is there. Any hormone is there. Steroid hormone is there. Steroidal hormones. कॉर्टिकोस्टीरोन लाइड और दादी ये समा खा रहे हैं स्टीरोइड स्टीरोइड्स आर नथिंग बट लिपिड्स राइट कॉम्प्लेक्स लिपिड्स तो देयर फॉर लिपिड्स ला फंक्शन मांगू पे और था ओके ठीक है तं ये इधर ला सकते हैं जी फास्फोलिपिड ये ये सोता चित्तौं वाला सा सो फास्फोलिपिड इन आल तो द फास्फेट ग्रुप तो वो खर्च आ रहे हैं फॉस्फोलिपिड चार हैं वाह कुछ नहीं नहीं लिपिड ही बरवा तो खाल फॉस्फेट ग्रुप चीज जल्दी जमल को खर्च आ रहे हैं फॉस्फोलिपिड चार रहे हैं एंड फॉस्फोलिपिड्स दे आर खाने लिपिड दे फॉर्म लिपिड बाइलेयर मेम्ब्रेन सो वंजु सेल मेम्ब्रेन नालो ला लिपिड बाइलेय so, when you have to remove the cartoon dose, you have to go to the wall, 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 you have to go to the wall. So, phospholipid is the most important thing, and you have to go to the cell membrane structure form. So, they have got a role in the structural component of the cell membrane. Is it clear? Right. So, that is about the lipids. Now, we will discuss about primary and secondary metabolites. So, तो धंधा बोलूँ आज जंग जो दिखे था हम हर जंग रहला हुए हैं बाय ना प्राइमरी मेटाबॉलाइट्स का ना जंग रहता वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट प्राइमरी मेटाबॉलाइट्स कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स प्रोटीन्स फैट्स इन कारण न्यूक्लिक एसिड दे आर ऑल प्राइमरी मेटाबॉलाइट्स अमीनो एसिड्स मोनोसाइक्राइड्स डाइसाइक्राइड्स Right. Why are they called as primary metabolites? Because they have got known role in metabolism. reaction to metabolism And these molecules, carbohydrates, proteins, fats, nucleic acids, they have got some role in metabolism. So therefore, they are called as primary metabolic primary metabolites. Okay. Biomolecules which are present in all organisms and have got identifiable function. And place known role in normal physiological process so manju subu naolo la reaction kar do in physiological reaction kar kar do yo be mene de naolo la function yo yo role yo yo ra ha ko yo yin bai na dikhe sama khar cha do bane primary metabolites la ne ing tar now in plants fungus and microbes 
plants share fungus share any bacteria rig denzu na lola khari yore lau him by na there are many other compounds apart from primary metabolites primary metabolites na lola maju ki carbohydrates proteins fats nucleic acids denzu mahim be ki roa any uh, organic component yore wa biomolecules in yore biomolecule dike khare lau him by na konzu lega ha ko mar roa their function is not known functions of all secondary metabolites are not known and therefore they are called as secondary metabolites they have got no known function within the organism function khari me ha magoe jo mar dikhe la manzu khar la ore secondary metabolites la ta pena chacha we me na example khar kar do alkaloids flavonoids rubber essential oils antibiotics colored pigments scents gums spices dikhe sama khar secondary metabolites re and the function of all the secondary metabolites are not known yet plants fungus microbes dikhe na lo la secondary metabolites dikhe la har chigu me dian ta ju ha ko mar ta yo sigir ta Rangazu ha kuhu mei osonza dele mingi karta shayare secondary metabolites na ta shayare. And many of these secondary metabolites found in plants, fungus and microbes, they are useful for human welfare. Rangazu le pejiyo yor. Pena chashina rubber sta dike sama khare. Rangazu le pejiyo yor. Drugs. Drugs ta. Spices ta. Scents and pigments. They are all useful for human welfare. Rangazu le pejiyo yor. And some secondary metabolites, they have got ecological importance. Ta pena chashya avi imbayna. Rata dike rangazu dir da. Secondary metabolites की list दिखे रहे pigments, alkaloids, terpenoids, essential oils, toxins, lectins, drugs, polymeric substances. All these are secondary metabolites. Now, ये ecological significance यार लास्ट आ। So this क्या नाम है? क्या नाम है? सेव करना है। जैसे जाइए ये नमक बुदा, तीसरी शिंग रिक तीरी दी। आह, आज शिंग का दिन देखा है क्या ही दो। ती या वो सेव ना क्या नाम है? भजू भी क्यों नहीं सही मरती? The cows and other herbivores they stay away from this particular plant. It's also called as milkweed. Scientific name kare Calotrophis. Ko meto ning jomu dojor Calotrophis. Koi ki woma do thengyo din nanglo la chemical jor hai. Calotrophin latch. So it's a secondary metabolite. It is a very strong toxin. Ko thuk shuk chambu shujer hai. Di imba songza bhaju din so sago mar ko. But calotrophin, apart from uh, providing defense, plant the defense to the age mado, koi bhi subun na lo la growth ta dende ki function dende na role ha ko go mar. Tii masonza calotrophin lai di karre secondary metabolite re. Se uchh mo swa. Ani ya shimbajik se uim ba na ta thanchi calotrophin to uyan si shin shimbajore milkweed lai shimbajore. Di ka la ama jim jim di gaji. Wa ama jim jim lo butterfly di gaji. It's a monarch butterfly. Monarch butterfly di gaji pujo maro caterpillar ji. Ti di ka la sadi gor. The caterpillar of monarch butterfly feeds on this milkweed plant, and when it feeds on this milkweed plant, the toxin present inside this particular milkweed plant goes into the body of the caterpillar and makes the caterpillar and as well as the adult butterfly toxic. So ecological importance to secondary metabolites. So that is about. Secondary metabolites. So primary metabolites, the secondary metabolite ni para kiwa the seo chungswa. Primary primary metabolite diga sama kare ngazu niya bio molecule jangyo diga sama kare ngazu primary metabolite rela na tash tixu diwore. Wa konzula function toa. Konzula they have got all have got known function inside the body, organism's body. But these secondary metabolites found in plants, kare fungus and microorganisms. They do not have known functions, right? So therefore, they are classified under secondary metabolites. Clear chung soa. Now, in the next video, we will discuss about metabolism. Tanga zo kar jangre next kar jangre jangre lau imbe na metabolism kar jangre. Ani metabolism ka jee ki video di da ni mata kina zo mata ni ani ra kina zo kar gan logo or you have to read section nine point nine, nine point ten, and nine point eleven. Right? You read about you read about metabolism in these sections. And then you can watch the next video. Okay. Yeah, thank you.